G'day scrappers. I uh, just come back from a couple of pickups today and thought I'd uh, just go through a few of the things that I picked up. Um, the first pickup was the one that's probably really interesting. This second one was, uh, yeah, it's pretty much just uh, rubbish and got some PCs, but mostly monitors and keyboards and stuff. It was just from uh, uh, just a small place, but um, I did get a big server out of this one. So all this stuff at the back here is from the the uh, the pickup I did this afternoon. And but yeah, the really interesting stuff is all the it's all in boxes, and I picked it up from a house actually. So um, yeah, two very unusual pickups. One was from a house. One was from a um, a hotel, uh, like a drinking kind of hotel. <laughs> so yeah two very different pickups and uh, so yeah the, the first one I, I wasn't expecting what I got so let's uh, we'll have a little look so all I'm going to do is first I just got to take out all this junk from uh, this second pickup and I've just got to going to use one of these tubs here uh, so I had to uh, today was very hot again and I had to uh, wait till it started to cool down and so it's actually very nice now, a nice breeze, Look, feels like it's going to probably rain a little bit, um, so it's a nice relief, it's, it'll be the first bit of rain we'd had in a uh, few weeks, so and I've got quite a few pickups actually, um, geez they're, they're coming in thick and fast at the moment uh, even tomorrow I've got uh, two jobs I, I only had one but I got another pick up this uh, today um, another job by email and then I've got a, a really quite a big one at one of the first schools that I ever did it's quite a big school um, but there's probably going to be some good stuff, but it's also uh, a lot of work, this school that I'm doing. That's actually next week. Um, but I've picked up a couple of new clients um, lately, so it's uh, been really good. Um, I've got one client, which is a data center. Um, it's, it's only a small pickup, but since I'm, I'm actually going to be in the area doing another pickup tomorrow so even though it's a small pickup it's um, there's gonna be some good stuff there it's mostly uh, it's just routers but they're full size like probably the biggest routers that I've ever picked up so I've got these some dirty monitors all scratched up um, this hotel that I picked up was uh, had water damage so they're renovating the whole hotel and I think at the same time they're upgrading all their electronics and clearing it out it's actually even though the hotel is is new it's actually from a technician that uh, calls me up every so often. He does jobs out and about and when the people have stuff to get rid of He gives me a call to go and pick it all up, which is really handy So yeah So I'm not very excited about this stuff that I'm pulling out right now, but Yeah, it's the the stuff from the first pickup that looks pretty awesome like just uh, something a little bit different I think there's like uh, there's a lot of circuit boards they're from uh, vehicles so we'll check them out um, can't remember what the vehicle circuit boards are called the uh, ECMs or something like that but yeah they're in uh, little cases so I've got to take them out of these cases but um, 
there's um, motherboards in boxes. Um, who knows what else we're going to get out of there. So I'm just really looking forward um, to doing that. And yeah, tomorrow's pickups. Got two of them booked. Um, one's an interesting one, but small. That's the new one. And then a regular client that I'm pretty sure it's going to be quite a big pickup. Because um, they're also clearing out a lot of stuff. Hopefully you get some nice servers and stuff like that. So, okay. Just some interesting PCs. Yeah, so I've been quite busy scrapping stuff out and trying to get volumes down, but at the same time I'm uh, just bringing it a lot more in. And yeah, after tomorrow and then, well, after next week, this big school, um, there's probably one thing I'm not look, looking forward to at this school is uh, oh, 35 laser printers and um, probably more uh, monitors. So monitors and printers, there are going to be some small laptops, the little school educational laptops, uh, but geez, 35 laser printers. That's, that's a lot of um, printers to pick up in just one pickup. So I'm gonna have to work out what to do with that and process them really, really quickly or yeah, just try and get rid of them somehow. Okay, so this is a nice big HP server. Oh, well, that's... That's a good one. Yeah. Intel Xeon ProLine ML15150. He's taken out the hard drives out of all his PCs, but that's okay. Um... I'm okay with that. That is a nice old Pentium 4. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah, but yeah. So, I'll probably cut this video short for now and just clear out here this sort of stuff that I got from this second job. Um, oh, well, I did get some nice laptops to muck around with. Um, yeah, and uh, yeah, the exciting part is going to go be going through all these boxes, although there's a lot of boxes to go through, but yeah, as I said, there's motherboards in boxes, there's a lot of electrical components, like little resistors in packets and stuff like that. The guy said he was going to try and sell it, but he just doesn't have time to, to uh, go through all that and, um, you know, list everything on eBay or wherever, so... He said oh, he, he, he just wanted to get rid of it and um, so I was the lucky one to get the call. So pretty awesome. Alright, so I'll just clear this out. This junky stuff. We did get some routers and yeah, a few more PCs, a big printer. But um, yeah, and I'll come back when I get to the boxes. All right, well, that was the first pickup taken out. And it was good. I got uh, six PCs, or five PCs and the server. Got a nice UPS. Got three laptops. And, um, yeah, just a bunch of keyboards, cables, some routers and switches. Yeah, not bad. I mean, you know, it's still a, a decent size for a, you know, unexpected pickup and, a, you know, it's not the sort of place that I'm going to get go back there because um, you know this is just probably years of uh, leftover stuff and it's only because that they're renovating that they're getting rid of it so but that's that's out the way and <laughs> awesome now this is what I picked up from one house um, that called me called me a little while ago but it's just taken a bit of time for us to have the right times to meet up and um, yeah really nice guy and had it all ready to go but these are the the things some of the things that he had so 
Okay, so it's obviously, you know, it's a, a box, like it goes in a vehicle. Um, can't remember what they're called, but uh, yeah, really interesting. Got little fuses. So these aren't really high value boards. Um, I'll probably just take it in and I'll get a screwdriver and I'll open them up. Yeah, the boards themselves aren't really high value. Um, here's some other ones. Yeah, that might be it. So as you can see here, there's really nothing. I mean, there's, there's more effort going to go into actually recycling the plastic. But, uh, uh, well, uh, does it even say what it is? It'll probably just go as ABS. But yeah, as you can see here, this particular board, it's just a mid-grade board, there's really nothing on it, uh, um, you know, of value, um, yeah, not a lot at all. So hopefully some of them are better, but yeah, there's some bigger ones here, so, you know, not really better as far as uh, grade, but at least it's a lot heavier, and um, yeah, so... Yeah, these vehicle boards, and we've got some nice cable coming off it, at least I can get a bit of extra value there. But yeah, so these are going to go as mid-grade, but hey, you know, boxes of circuit boards. So, and, and you know, quite decent weight because of the fuse boxes here. So, yeah, really weird, but definitely out of vehicles. Um, you are saying, yeah. So they're obviously some kind of uh, electrical repair type guys, but so it's mostly vehicle stuff. Oh, and there's these, check out this. So they're obviously into testing of some sort. Okay, so these are like test boards. Okay. Wow, look at the wad. Oh, okay. So this is just to test one actual one of these little boards and look at the wire on it so they obviously do these as maybe in vehicle testing and the writing is mostly it's it's chinese writing so on all those labels and all these switches um nice little switches actually he did mention these switches and he said that he actually he started taking off switches and keeping them for himself or for other uses he said but he once he got about a hundred of them he thought that's that's all I need but uh, yeah these are good little switches actually uh, so I'll probably keep the boards until I you know work out if I need these switches but look at that wire and it just hooks up to one little board yeah wow that's that's pretty impressive there's another kind of box, same deal, just got a big, obviously they've got a long extension of wire so they can reach your vehicles uh, when they're doing in-car in test. So yeah, that's it, it's just a connector that connects into the main thing, and they've got their, uh, okay, so this one's, these are in English, four doors, lock trunk, okay, so they're pretty much, uh, yeah, Wow, don't know what that says, but uh, yeah, uh, I love these interesting things, oh, these are just uh, connectors for the fuses, so they're just uh, blank connectors, wow, there's another one, there's some bigger boxes inside. So, yeah, I just, I love getting these oddball pickups where you just don't know what you're going to get. And uh, here's some of those bigger switch boxes. Yeah, so it's definitely just, a, you know, it says brake light, ignition, air conditioner, key, left turn, right turn, hazards. So it's basically a tester to test every little um component on a car you know just to put these boxes together with you know it's very intricate with all these little switches and leds really really interesting 
Um, wish I knew more about this stuff like this that I can, you know, do even more with it. Here we go again, the same kind of deal. Wow, and every one of these wires are labelled in Chinese writing. Wow. Uh, this one's in Chinese. For one. Awesome. Well, the guy was Chinese. Um, I'm pretty sure he was Asian. Um, but yeah, only a young guy and a really nice guy and uh, just... Uh, Wow. Okay. So all this stuff I've got to put inside in the garage uh, until I can start sorting it out. So I'll just take this in. Okay. So the rain has started slowly. Okay. like telephone ah, even got a little nice little pair of side cutters here actually these are good quality some little tools nice it's just one of those wire kits but yeah, there are quite a lot of new parts. And uh, he was just pointing out some stuff and he's saying, you know, you could probably sell these rather than just, you know, recycling them. Okay, that's just empty box. Who knows? Probably empty box. Uh, just some um, cable. Probably very specific. <sighs> Motherboards. Core 2 Duo. Um, yeah, the, these kind of things, if, if they're in there, no. Nah. Well, this one's not. I get this a lot. Just got a packet of cable. The rest is uh, just rubbish that I've got to deal with. So hopefully, well, at least there's a Windows 2000 Professional. Uh, uh, probably don't really need 2000 Professional anyway. Yeah, this one's this one's just junk. Okay, oh man, don't give me all this junk. Well, at least we've got some Asus connectors, brand new. Remember? Uh, Windows XP Professional, that's better, but the disc has been taken out. Uh, Windows XP is... Uh, not in there <laughs> okay surely there's going to be something but this is uh, what he was kind of talking about like you know packets of brand new uh, looks like resistors um, you know 50 in a pack and there's you know a lot of packets so this is kind of good stuff for uh, you know for uh, eBay store you know um, stock and because it's got part numbers and stuff just makes it a lot easier to uh, um, identify what they are and sell them. This looks like uh, little tiny little tantalum capacitors in a in a spool. Yep, tantalum capacitors. That's how a lot of them come like this on a strip. They're very very small these ones. Oh, these are. Uh, so IC chips, yeah, IC chips, brand new in packets. 
Uh, there's some more there. These looks like MOSFETs. Gosh, some of these are very fiddly, not very easy to sell. This looks just like the, uh, just a, almost like it's just an empty box. This is a strip of uh, capacitors. How's that? It's a whole heap of aluminium capacitors. Um, 3.5 volt, 330 UF. Yeah, pretty hard for me to do much with that. Wow. Now he's got trays of them here. Wow. They're all resistors. So I might be able to do something with these resistors. There's some ICs. Yeah, this could be good stock for resell. There's just a Cisco router. There's some more kind of stock. Keys, replacement keys or blanks. Yeah, they're blanks for um, looks like Volkswagen. So obviously, yeah, the the vehicle kind of repairers. All right. So I don't think there's any motherboards here. Unfortunately, it's just. The junk left over. Uh, router. Yeah. All right. Hey. Windows XP. doesn't have the serial yeah so that's just rubbish this does Windows 7 professional okay oh, we've got two of them What's this? Office? Office? Alright, well these are alright. Hey, we've got a motherboard in there, finally. Okay, finally got a motherboard. Well, it's brand new, but it doesn't look like it's anything super special. And we've got one P4 Titan. All right. Whew. I've got to get all this out before it starts raining, and it's got to be empty because of the two pickups I've got tomorrow. So I've got to get rid of this stuff. Even though I'm pretty exhausted, I drove quite a bit. Yep, just the more of the the very very same thing. So yeah, again, just mid-grade board. Um, but because of the weight, oh well, we get some value out of it. Would have been, you know, nice if they were good gold recovery boards, but not out of uh, vehicles and stuff like that. Wires. It's a little... Oh, wow. Check that out. It's got a nice little uh, desk sort of bread box. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's got inductors, capacitors, even got little crystal oscillators. 
Wow. Well, this is a ICs. It's a mixed bag of all little goodies here. So this is all. This is good stuff. Put all this other stuff. I'll just take this in. Okay. So. Yeah, it's just pretty much dominated by all this vehicle testing equipment. I wish uh, I knew someone that was, you know, that liked playing with this kind of stuff. I'd give them some of these boxes, you know. Um, they can uh, reset them, rejig them for something else, probably. Really good switches. It's going to be a shame to just try, you know, have to recycle most of it. These cables are really good. Wow, they've got some nice gold pins on, on these buggers. Awesome. So, yeah. Just multiples of this kind of stuff. Hey, you know, I, I can't complain. You know, I love my <coughs> unusual stuff. And um, it didn't take me that long to get there. And then um, I got that extra bonus pickup on the way back. So, oh wow, how's that? You know, I've done test boxes similar to this, but it's just, yeah, how's that with that wire? Imagine how long it took them to, you know, connect each one to each switch and each LED and just uh, very time consuming work. And so, someone's put a lot of hours into this stuff at one stage. They probably made up for it by charging like wounded bulls. Hey, we've got a mystery purple box. <laughs> uh, more little ICs. Oh wow, mini blade fuses. Oh wow, there's some nice gold pins on them. Yeah, ICs. Oh, beautiful little package that. more test boxes all right just oh, I was hoping when I seen these boxes I saw, thought oh, I hope they haven't trying to get give me all their file um, you know suspension file stuff but okay so it's more goodies to go through. Uh, looks like a whole lot of plugs and wow. Just don't even know what's in here. I'll have to look. Oh, it looks like a pack of IC chips and who knows? Yeah, ICs. Baristas, gosh, yep, it's, it's one of those pickups that, you know, the stuff is, can be quite tedious to go through, but this is uh, what I like to play with when I've, yeah, just sealed packs of um, something, there's ICs and MOFSETs, Wow. Yeah. I get one of these kind of pickups at least one a year of uh, from a, an electrical repair kind of place. <sighs> All right. Okay, get rid of this. These ones are all brand new by the looks. Oh, just never ending of all these test boxes. Gosh, yeah, I've got to see if I can try and do something with them because it'll be just a shame. There's no real scrap value, um, you know, apart from the wire. I would like to get some of the 
switches so I'll probably keep a few just for the switches themselves but yeah it's uh wow IE cube okay this looks like some kind of testing module I'll probably keep this it's got an awesome board inside You see the tantalum capacitors everywhere. It's pretty full on board. So I think I'll keep this IE cube. Well, it's in box, so oh, I did get one monitor, unfortunately. Just want the last thing I want is to have a look at the uh, green garbage bags, and then. Um, then I'll go on to uh, tomorrow's pickup. So it, it, it's, <laughs> I have to admit, you know, I mean, I'm sure you, you agree that picking all this up from one house um, is a uh, quite an unusual pickup, <laughs> e-waste wise, and quite interesting. I certainly wouldn't turn this stuff back. So okay. Okay, so we've got, gosh, speedos. Well, there's boards in there. There's the housing for, don't know. How's that? Some nice copper coils in there. Wow. So it's a bag of speedo. Boards. This is just more circuit boards, even some old headphones. Goodness. Yep, more bags. More goodies. Don't know what these are. Ah. Just have to sit down. Uh, I hate when you get this kind of empty packaging. We've got some cables and stuff in there, but it doesn't look like the main thing is in here. Uh, just have to go through it. Okay, well, I'll leave it with me. Uh, unless I find something different than what you've already seen I'll show you before I do the video tomorrow but um, yeah wow pretty uh, pretty bizarre pickup oh okay here we go these are mil-spec connectors. Check out the gold pins on these babies. Can you see them? Sorry. Yeah. This stuff can go with the other mil-spec kind of stuff. Really nice gold pins. Awesome. Nice box of them. All right, well, next stage of the video I might as well continue this on um, and uh, show you what I picked up in the next two pickups just sort of compile it in I'll, I'll probably cut this part of it a bit shorter so there we go pretty awesome pickup just from one house and uh, yeah tomorrow's pickup one's a small one but there's some Cisco stuff that I really wanted, wanted to get my hands on um, like real big full-size routers and and then a regular customer that's got uh, um, a whole heap of stuff a lot of monitors but a whole heap of clearance so I look forward to uh, the rest of this video and um, we'll see how it goes so it's certainly a busy couple of days four pickups in two days okay well I'm back from pickup number three and four um, 
this is the next day <laughs> so here we go again um, geez this is only the the one problem is working uh, solo is just spending a, a lot of time going to pick up stuff and loading and unloading no one's actually scrapping anything out so it starts to build up really quick um, but yeah the second pickup is a very regular client I've actually got a bin at uh, this place that I empty out so I get a lot of cables a lot of monitors um, all the time um, I've got some you know always get some interesting little oddball things um, today wasn't so bad a few PCs from there uh, a lot of monitors I've got two TVs unfortunately a lot of cable yeah these two big printers um, probably the only thing I wasn't looking forward to is getting any printers today because next week I've got this school and I know that there's 35 laser printers at this school which is insane um, so I'm going to have to deal with these printers one way or another and so yeah because it's been quite warm um, well, I've got my chickens out to help me a little bit but yeah so I, I I got my uniform when I go out picking up so I got my pants my safety shoes me me black shirt and all that and uh, so as soon as I get back because it's so hot I, I just strip right down to shorts and t-shirt and sandals and then uh, wait for it to cool down a little bit otherwise you know it's just so hot so it's really funny because I go out in total work mode and as um, soon as I get back I, I'm in like beach mode you know with the way I look <laughs> but yeah a lot of you know again um, this scrap metal a lot of keyboards this time we've got a lot of power supplies um, yeah, there's, see there's Dell power supplies, so I'm going to have to go through some of these, put some aside. Modems. Ah, I'll just get this printer out. But, um, the first pickup I did is a brand new client, and... Ah, I might have to uh, contact my recycler friend and see if he can, uh, I can offload all these laser printers to him after next week because I'll have about 40 by the time I'm done with that school uh, yeah so this new client this is all uh, my an existing client so it's a lot of monitors but the new client that I got wow what a client <laughs> if I get uh, these guys calling me on a regular basis it's going to be absolutely awesome it's a data center it's like I didn't really get to look in the inside. It's a huge building. It's a beautiful building. And um, it's like, you know, it's like the heart of Google or something, you know. It's just big rooms, all, you know, server towers going through the whole place. It's all glass and uh, it's just full on. So it's obviously like a, a major data center um, here in Melbourne. So... Well, I, you know, I hope I get them on a regular basis. I tell you what, guys, um, I didn't pick up a lot. It was uh, a few routers and switches, but you should see these routers and switches. <laughs> um, and they're Cisco as well. Oh, oh okay. Looks like I, I got a, a bit of a, a mix, of st mix of stuff here. Okay, so here's a mixer. Um, yeah, this one's pretty cool. It's a nice little one. It's still got cables coming out of it. So I've just got to be careful. Um, oh, we've got some Cisco um, air nets. Different ones again. Wow, I haven't seen these ones. Ah, these ones look like they are plastic. So I've got three different Cisco air nets. I might do a video just, be, just because I've got three different ones. Um, yeah, there's quite a few in here. So that's, that's nice. 
Um, that mixer is probably part of this really cool karaoke machine that I've got, that big one. So, unfortunately I've got these flat screen TVs I've got to deal with. So, they're going to have to, and they're mostly, well that one's mostly plastic, this one might be okay to ass sent to the scrapyard in here yeah still back uh, looks like oh, it's even got a DVD on the side uh, yeah this one could be don't know if it's a plasma or not but it's a heavy one so there, there'll be a bit of scrap value in this one uh, boards and scrap metal yeah so well I was going to throw a lot in, into this bin from the first two pickups but a lot of this stuff I don't want in the rain uh, gosh it's a lot of cable can go keyboards can go all right so I really wanted to show you the uh, the first pickup stuff that's where the exciting stuff is this is just regular uh, stuff it's like a bunch of uh, Telstra modems oh there was one thing I wanted to show you too I wanted uh, to see if someone can actually how's these D-Link um, I suppose they're their modems. Yeah, kind of like DAP sixteen fifty. Yeah, well, came with all the other modems. Yeah, the, the karaoke machine is really cool. Uh, I did get a few pieces. A nice Dell. That's a good one. I've, this place actually, um, there's a whole lot of other computer stuff. Uh, they're, they're tablets. They're like um, warehouse uh, control tablets, um, inventory tablets. I've picked some up from there before, but uh, I've got to send them an email to confirm data destruction because uh, apparently the boss wants to uh, make sure that the hard drives and they're tiny little hard drives they're only like two inches tall and very thin um, in these particular ones that they want me to take away they want to um, get some sort of guarantee that they're going to be um, the hard drives are going to be actually destroyed because uh, they don't want the particular data to get um, get out so I'm gonna do that send them an email and then well here's a uh, nice little mic probably part of the karaoke system it's more modems and netcom big antennas Wow, haven't seen these kind of antennas before. Real tall. There's a few of them. Get this karaoke machine. It's just got... It's two wheels, but one of the legs is broken. It's a ne Neon IQ. Look at the size of it. It's a huge, huge speaker system. Right, and um, wow, oh no, this isn't a karaoke machine, it's actually got a, a docking station up here, like an iPod, iPad or iPod docking station, that's pretty cool, gonna have to look it up, it's got guitar input, 
SD MMC card, um, okay, iPod, MP3, auxiliary. So this is an amp, it's not a karaoke machine, don't think. Don't know why it's got a an iPod. I suppose you put other music in it. 12 volt battery. It's like a little suitcase. It's got its own little carrier, a wheelie thing. Um, yeah. So I think the only problem with it is that the the little stand at the base is broken, so it, it doesn't stand straight. Kind of just goes on an angle. But it looks like everything's there, and the microphone might be part of it. Yeah, so that's pretty cool actually. Neon IQ. I'll have to look that up. All right, well, yeah, I just want to finish this video off. I'm, I'm not going to uh, empty it, it all out today. And now that I've seen that there's a lot of power supplies that I don't want in the actual rain. This is a VHF. Oh yeah, it's part of the, this is a microphone. Okay, so this is part of this. Yep, VHF transmitter. Okay, so this is a wireless, you put this on your belt, hook it up, and you've got your microphone. So yeah, this stuff I've got to keep under cover till I can sort it all out. But I just want to get through and show you, before I finish this, uh, this pickup adventure video off, because I couldn't take any videos where I was, because... Uh, well, the first two places yesterday were was just too awkward to um, take the camera in, and the next place was a secure place that I didn't want to bring the camera. And then my regular client, well, I don't think he would have wanted his face on the camera either. So, um, so yeah, but. See that big box? That's one of the Cisco routers. Super heavy, super cool. And quite a few of these Ligel um, thin clients again. I get a lot of them from this place. They, they seem to use a lot every time I do a pickup there, which is, you know, about once every three months. You know, I always get a handful of them. Um, yeah, the couple of things I wanted to look at. Talking display unit. Netcom. Okay. Got a little, little card in there. Digital audio card. Oh, I have to look these up to see what they do. But here's a couple of interesting things, or one interesting thing. What are these? Telstra, which is our telecom company, Wi-Fi 4G Advanced Pro X, ultra fast speeds on the go, LCD supply, so display with data usage meter, connect up to 10 Wi-Fi devices. What are they? They're little... It's a little 4G, it's got a little LCD, you know, screen, 4G Advanced, little power button here now they're branded as telecom but you know um, they don't seem to power up looks like the batteries might be flat there's three of them in here and I think there's a few loose in boxes so 4G Wi-Fi Advanced Pro X I don't know what these are why would you need so model E5786S. Connect up to 10 Wi-Fi devices on the go. Don't know how that works. But anyway, 
I want to get through to the sexy stuff. So I'm going to try and get these out. And there's uh, two Cisco's and then there's two other kind of routers. I'll just give you an example. That's a that's a just a set of three cooling fans. How awesome is that? Blowers. Wow. <laughs> Might have to check that out. But oh, how am I going to get these out? I just want to be a bit delicate with these. There's the front of one. You can see it's a beautiful Cisco. It's got all um, cards slide out. Um, yeah, I'll have to get these out and put these on the table. Okie dokie. So, <laughs> found out what this is. It's not a uh, karaoke or an amplifier. It's, it's a PA system. You connect up your microphones. I suppose you can connect up a guitar. And it's just a, basically a big speaker and um, portable, put your iPad on there and um, yeah, address public and whatever they do with them. Uh, yeah, so that's what that was. So I don't know if my mate's interested or anyone's interested in this, you wanna pick it up. Um, but uh, the guy that picked up a bunch of the amplifiers off me recently, if you're interested in this, give me a hoi and uh, come and grab it. So here's the, uh, here's the four main things that I picked up from the first pickup. That's all it basically was. He said, look, they're on a pallet there, you know, um, even though I've got a minimum of 12 items to pick up, um, I came to pick this up because um, of the size that he said they were. They're very heavy. So, yeah, they're certainly heavy. These weigh about 60 kilos each. Uh, they're not so bad, but I couldn't, uh, you know, have to obviously leave these on the ground, these Cisco ones. So the Cisco's are, are basically your GSRs, which is a, like a, uh, it's a, it's a, a router. Um, they call them gigabit switch routers. So, you know, obviously it came from a data center, so that's basically what they are. They're, they're you know, for um, whatever they are, you know, part of the uh, network of this giant data center. So I just hope that I get more calls from this place because this is the kind of stuff you get, real high end, beautiful stuff you know this is these are older models so there's no real uh, resale value here it's just um you know unless the uh, individual boards are, are worth selling the modules um i'll have to look them up but i doubt it and then here are two sienna um these are the ethernet switches so they're quite cool too so I just wanted to have a little look. So we've got the, the two power supplies. I had these out when we were loading them up just to reduce a bit of the weight. But, um, gosh, uh, it looks like this one's only got one blank uh, s s shelf. Oh, oh yeah. These look interesting. Giant board. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, double sided boards. Got everything in there. I can see Tanties and beautiful uh, BGAs. And oh my gosh. This is just the underside of it. Um, so, but obviously, first I just need to uh, look these modules up before I start ripping into them. But if they're. Uh, they're probably just too high-end and probably a little bit too old because the only places that really use these are high-tech data centers and they don't, you know, muck around with old stuff. You know, they're dealing with uh, internet networks and stuff like that. They need reliability, so they're not going to probably buy them off me. Um, let's have a look at this. I love Cisco. Okay. Ah, oh, two batteries, real big batteries, CR2450s, wow. I wonder what's under that heatsink, it's got two RAM sticks here, they look pretty high tech RAM sticks, really tiny little BGAs on them. Um, yeah, a lot of Tanties, yeah, a lot of, oh wow, look at the size of that crystal oscillator, hey? 
it's like a biscuit. That's huge. Now that's what we call gold band crystal oscillator. <laughs> wow. Oh, look at it. Gonna be some nice gold. Just lost my microphone. Yeah, there's gonna be some nice gold pins here. <laughs> I can't get over the size of this. Oh, I've seen them before, you know, I've gotten a few of these very large crystal oscillators. But super awesome. We just gotta, you know, again check to see what we've got here. And um, just to make sure that these individual modules, you know, because there could be one module here that's that tends to break down a lot and and it might actually sell. People might be looking for them still. That's the same kind of deal. It's got little modules here that slide in. They all. Yeah, these kind of look. They're similar, or just slightly different. So these ones are going to be the same. These little ones. Oh yeah, wow. Well, be interesting to see. There looks like a white ceramic CPU under this heatsink here. Um, looks like yeah, another one under there. Yeah quite a nice you know that's you know that's telecom grade board as you can see there's no real rubbish around it it's just stuff look at the size of those MLCC's hey okay. you know reckon these are going to be high-end MLCC's about the highest end you'll get well I'm gonna have a bit of fun here with these well oh, these ones Wow. Again, huge MLCCs. Be interesting to see what's in that. Um, very awesome. Love my Cisco stuff. Can't get enough of it. Even the power supply units. Giant. And there's a backplane board in there. In fact, yeah, that'll be a pretty serious backplane board for all this stuff that. Uh, hooks in yeah because everything is going to be plugging into that so there's going to be some a serious backplane board there wow that's awesome now let's just hope we get more pickups of this sort of stuff here's another one it's a little bit different kind of looks the same it might have the same kind of modules it's got a slight difference here oh wow yeah similar two big batteries again two ram sticks uh, these ram sticks are uh, yeah well they're two gigabytes um, but yeah pretty sexy boards Love it, love it. I'll just see if I can get this. Oh yeah, the same kind of deal. These are going to be really interesting because they're double, double boards. I can see RAM in there. Um, lots of tanties. Oh, just a really good board for gold recovery. And these things, the Siennas. Well, ah, Sienna, CN5305, 5305, so the same kind of deal. All right, so these ones are obviously just blank. Yep, so they don't have a great deal. They've got power supplies in the front here, as you've got this looks like it's probably just a fan yep there's a tray of fans how's that that's pretty sexy isn't it haha <laughs> uh, so there's three boards in these ones okay wow 
a lot of gold band crystal oscillators, only small ones, but there's five, six just here. Another one up there. This board will probably uh, be good underneath. We'll have, um, and under these heat sinks, yeah, one more. Well, really nice, sexy stuff. This is gold recovery at its finest, if it, if it ends up as gold recovery, which it probably will. Yep, sexy, nice. Gosh, a lot of tantalums. Nice, that's a telecom grade, you know. It's a pretty straightforward telecom grade. Obviously you remove all the tantalum capacitors and then we got a different ball game, but like it is, that's telecom grade. That's awesome, guys. So yeah, let's just hope that uh, this place keeps calling me back. Imagine if I start getting the full-size replacement servers and stuff, it would be awesome. You know, maybe they, it was just a one-off because this was heavy and bulky and probably they didn't have enough for a bigger company to come and pick it up. Who knows, but sheesh, can't complain getting this kind of stuff uh, yet. Yeah, I'll pick it up. It's just around the corner, really, you know less than 10 minutes away so oh, I'll do that any day of the week all right so that was it guys also there's one new in box it looks like a power supply unit so at least this is brand new so at least I can um, look up the part number and if it's sellable I can get something for this but uh, yeah I've got a lot of stuff to get through that's four pickups in two days and two of them were super quick and two of them were a bit long and tedious and more of the junky things but uh yeah hope that was a bit of fun for you guys uh i don't know uh, since i was doing these pickups so close together i thought i'd put them on video and give you a little look at what i'm picking up in this uh first month of the year but if this is anything to go by hopefully it's going to be an awesome year Go Cisco. Love it. Anything Cisco, bring it on. All right, guys, keep scrapping. Have fun, and I'll catch you next time.